Hello, Yarnabees. It is Sandy ah, from Crochet A, in case you're brand new and you don't know my name. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, as you can see, I'm feeling a little bit better. Just a little bit, a little bit, you know. Um, so uh, I'll explain all that at the end of the video. So I have a few things to talk about. Oh, except I gotta move my chair. Oh, there we go. Um, first off, I the very first thing I want to say is um, Cheryl from Sea Bolts with Yarn and Hook. Her grandma um, Goosey passed away last night, and um, <clears throat> I just want to send out my well wishes to her and her family not the bad side of the family that's giving her all these problems but um i'm i'm wrapping my arms around you sweetheart i uh i know this is really hard for you but you will get through it and your grandma will be with you in your heart you know um she's not in pain anymore she's going to be living the life now you know, she's, she's up there living the life. Okay. Um, so mwah, our, our Yarny family is, is circling around you right now. <sighs> so there's that. Um, so if you can go to Cheryl's page or try and contact her. Billy has put out a... Um, a video with Cheryl's address on it so that you can send her well wishes cards and sympathy cards and and uh, thinking of you cards and and what have you so go hop on over to Billy's channel and um, and do that okay because we we Yarny family have to stick together okay um next thing <laughs> Next thing I would like to talk about is Veronica from, I can, you know, I can't say it as eloquently as she can, but Vero's <laughs> crochet. <laughs> I can't do the, <laughs> um, oh, all I can, I, I, I just, wow. <laughs> she just posted a video and um she was saying that her husband archie was becoming a little obsessed with george and i or something and and he he did this little video uh clip at the end of her video and it was for george more george than me but <laughs> um and it, that it was so sweet it was so sweet it just warmed us i i called george this morning while he was working and I says, you gotta come home and watch this video. So I says, you know, the sweetest thing. <laughs> so I says, you have a fan. <laughs> so George is all excited. He wants to come home and watch it and he will be sending out his own private message to Archie <laughs> when he gets home. So thank you so much. It was sweet. Um, okay. Next, I'm looking at my list of things here. Uh, okay, one thing I would like to say to all of you that has have sent me Facebook friend requests, um, I'm so sorry. I don't accept friend requests on my personal page. Uh, I keep that for friends and family, um, but you can hop on over to my Crochet A um, group and join that. And you can talk to me through there. Okay. Um, so yeah, so do that. Okay. Uh, also, I have um, down in the description box, I've started to do an Amazon link um, little section. And that is for all my favorite things that I get on Amazon. Okay. It is an affiliate link, um, but don't let that scare you. That doesn't really mean a whole lot, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but I am an avid av Amazon shopper. 
like too much. <laughs> There's a lot of things like I buy hooks from there. I buy um, like a whole bunch of different yarny things I buy from there. I bought my um, stitch markers and oh, what else have I bought? I bought, oh, the little carousel thing that my hooks are all in. Um, like just lots of stuff. Oh, and I've also um, bought the equipment for my camera, for my videoing, which I haven't put down in the links yet. Uh, so yeah, so I've, I've gotten, I just buy a crazy amount of stuff off of Amazon. So whenever I find something new that, oh, that, um, that one year calendar that I got, I got for Lisa from Lisa's Crochet, uh, I got from Amazon. So I've got that link down below because everybody was saying, oh, that looks so great. I would love to get one. So I, uh, I put the link down below. Um, so whenever I find something that I really like, I will put that link down below so that you, and, and it's a permanent link, right? Like it's not just on one video, it's going to be in all of my videos. So it will always be there for you to go and check out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also, for those of you who have ordered my book, Lydia, For those of you that don't know, my new subscribers, I have written a book called Lydia. Uh, it is a horror fiction novel. And it is not for anyone under the age of 19. Um, it's It can be a bit racy. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that may trigger people. Uh, so just be, have that in your mind if you decide to order it. If you do decide to order the book, email me. My email is right here. For those of you who have already ordered this book and I have sent it out, please, please, please send me a message. Let me know that you got it. Okay, because there's one of you, actually the very first person that actually ordered my book I sent it out, she still hasn't gotten it. And I don't know why. Cause Texas, it should have got to Texas by now. Um, so anyway, uh, if it doesn't show up soon, um, I'm gonna have to deal with that. So please send me a message, let me know you got it, okay? Um, I have to start checking off stuff on this list because I'm getting lost. <laughs> Okay. Also, I'm starting to notice that some of you are doing yarn swaps. How cool is that? Um, the thought of doing a yarn swap with somebody in a different country and seeing what their yarn is like compared to our yarns, I think that would be a lot of fun. So if you are from a different country, Australia, India, the England, uh, wherever, and you would like to do a yarn swap with me, let me know because I think that would be very cool. Uh, and also my address and everything is down below. So, but don't, don't do a yarn swap with me unless you tell me because I want to have something prepared for you, right? I don't want to be caught off guard. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, also, I, I forgot to bring them over here. Unprepared again. Hold on. A few minutes later. So a while back, I had shown you some um, granny squares that I was starting to make out of latte cakes and I was planning on making a blanket with these. I am so over it. They are just sitting there doing nothing. So 
I am going, I've decided what I'm going to do. These are seven by seven squares or seven, seven and a half thereabouts uh, inch squares. I decided I am going to gift them to someone who can actually do something with them. So I'm sending them to you, Billy, because I don't want them just sitting here. It's beautiful yarn. And I just figured you could probably do something really nice with them. Uh, so I'm going to send them over to you. Okay. If you don't want them, let me know. <laughs> then I'm going to have to send them to somebody else. But I am sure that you can come up with something because you're just creative that way. Oh, more cold brew iced tea. Nothing special. <laughs> okay, uh, on that note, on, on the note of Billy, I am noticing, <laughs> I'm noticing that a lot of the YouTubers out there that happen to give me a shout out or that are in a live, that I'm in a live with, uh, that don't know me or even the ones that do know me, can't pronounce my channel name. So I'm going to tell you now. Because <laughs> it's just, they're, they're really struggling with it. So, oop. So it's crochet A, like A, okay? Not eh, not eh, <laughs> not like I'm, uh, you know. <laughs> it's crochet A, because uh, Canadians, that's how, oh jeez, I have to turn this off. Um, because Canadians, when we talk, don't know why, don't know how it came about, but we always seem to end our sentences with A. You know, um, so I don't know why. It's like Odie snoring over there, eh? <laughs> you know, I don't know why we do it. It's just a Canadian thing. Just like Canadians apologize about everything. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I stepped on your foot. <laughs> you know, it's not one of those. It's like, oh, I'm sorry you spilled coffee on me. You know, it's like <laughs> we're apologizing all the time. It's like George. He sits there. If I'm mad at George and I yell at him or whatever, he says, I'm so sorry that you're angry with me. I'm sorry you yelled at me. <laughs> it's like... Okay, right. So anyways, so that is us. That is Canadian. It's A, A. Okay, kind of just think of it as, you know, your, oh, uh, your old grandma or great grandma, when she couldn't hear very well, she'd go, eh, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what it's like. <laughs> okay, um... Did you happen to see Hooked by Robin, her, her latest video? She did these adorable little unicorn squares. How cute would that be in a blanket? You know, like, wow. Like, they're so adorable. You have to go over there and check them out. The link will be down below. Oh. They're so cute. I mean, that's if you like unicorns. I should make one and send it to Tia, my daughter Tia, just for shits and giggles because she hates unicorns. Anything unicorn, she hates it. I should do that just to get her. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that for Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> Evil mother. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, we have a birthday coming up. I don't know. I think it's, is it tomorrow or Monday? Monday. I think it's Monday. Z from Zelda NRJ3. It's her birthday coming up. Yay! So 
because it's our long weekend and Monday's our holiday, I probably won't be doing a video. So I'm going to do it now. You know what I'm going to do? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Z. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. So everybody go over to her channel and wish her happy birthday. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a big milestone birthday. Um, something you just don't ask a woman, right? <clears throat> so anyways, um, send her all your love, okay? Because she, she's been having a rough time lately and uh, she could use everybody's love. I mean, we all give her, her, give her our love anyway, but give her some extra love because it is her birthday. She got the coolest birthday present from one of her friends. It's like those glass um, bricks. Brick. It's a glass, um, square glass. I guess it's kind of like a glass brick. But it's the stuff that you put in your cement walls and stuff like that. And it was the Nightmare Before Christmas thing, right? That she loves so much. It was gorgeous. Right? Like, I'm not a big fan of the skull thing and the, um, sometimes I am. But, you know, I, I haven't even actually seen Nightmare Before Christmas. Can you believe that? I know. She's gasping right now. I know. Maybe I'll have to do that for your birthday. I'll have to watch that. Maybe that's what I'll do on my, on the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, go on over and check her out. I'll put her link down below. Not that I need to, because you all know her anyway. But, um, yeah. So, there you go. Okay. Um, Fiber Spider put out a... I'm going to put my book over here. Put out a um, shawl a little while back called the Wild Wheat Shawl. And Tasha from... Um, Tasha's Yarnery Creations was just made it and she was wearing it uh, in her video and it is adorable. It looks so easy. I'm going to have to go and check it out. I really am. Because it, the, on the video, or like on the, the thumbnail on his video, it does not give it justice. Because um, it's so far away, you can't actually see the detail. But when she's wearing it, oh, you can, you can totally see it all. And it was just, I, I really fell in love with it. And it looks like a pretty easy stitch to do. So, um, yeah. So it, I have to, I'll put that link down below too. Um, and I'll put Tasha's link down as well. Because it is, it is really pretty. And Tasha does beautiful work. Like, ugh, everything that's up on her wall. She's got the what's on my wall. All her shawls are just gorgeous um, and then she does grafgans I can't do a grafgan I they scare me I can't uh -uh. I'll leave that to the professionals because whoo that's a lot of work uh, Charlie from have a yarn with Charlie does grafgans as well and I'm just like bravo because I mm -mm. no mm -mm. this girl's not gonna get into that no mm -mm. Um, okay, before I get into that, uh, the hat that I was showing you yesterday, that I was starting, I finished it. Yes, I did. With all the sparkle yarn. And I decided to, it's like a slouchy. I decided to make a cowl to go with it. Just a small cowl. Just love the sparkle. So yeah, it's just a uh, just a little cowl to go with it. So yeah. Uh, so I'm finished that. Yay. Now I don't know what I'm gonna start working on. The shawl that I did that um, Z and Seta had going. I think I'm going to have to frog it. Which sucks. And I'm going to have to use a bigger hook. 
and see if that actually works. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. Um, I want to do two shout outs. One is to Petra's Happy Place. She is at 353 subscribers. Yeah, 353. Can't even read my writing anymore. Let's get her to 400. She's so sweet. <laughs> um, and also Linda, well, this one doesn't even need an introduction, but Linda from uh, Just a Crochet Sister. She is at 624 subscribers. Let's get her up there. Okay. Oh. Bailey, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> don't you start. Um, yeah, so those are my two shout outs for today. Okay, now something else from this point on, and the reason why I wanted to put this at the end of my video is because some of you probably don't want to listen to this. So um, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. So you can just stop the video now if you want to. Um, as I had said in my 10 non-yarny things about me, um, I am, and I, I, it's really hard for me to divulge this because of the, um, like some people just are very mean about this kind of stuff. But anyways, I am a white lighter. I am very spiritual. I am not religious. I am spiritual. Meaning that I believe in a higher power um, and that I, I am not Wiccan. Mm -mm -mm. Okay? I am not a witch. Um, I do not believe in casting spells. I don't, like, none of that stuff, right? That's not me, okay? Um, I believe in, um, I do believe in the afterlife. Uh, I believe in grounding myself. I believe in, oh, there's so many things I believe in. So, um, I'm also a, um, empath, meaning that I am extremely sensitive to energies. Right, I can be walking in a store. I can feel people's energy. I can tell if they're sick. Um, I can tell if there's something wrong. Right. Um, I can go on and on about this. So, considering that it is Halloween, um, to us it's called Samhain. Well, it's called Samhain. But it's pronounced it's pronounced Samhain, but it's spelled Samhain. So um, this is the time when the veil between the worlds, the spirit world and the physical world, are the thinnest, and the spirits from the other side can get through to say hello to their loved ones. Um, it's kind of like the Day of the Dead idea, right? Um, so it didn't occur to me until today why my health has been all wonky. And I kept thinking, oh, geez, maybe I've got fibromyalgia, maybe I've got RA. Like, I was so, so scared, and I thought, oh, like, I don't want to go to the doctor and get checked out like cause I don't want to hear any bad news and then somebody said something to me and then it hit me the veil is parted I'm feeling all the energy right um, Halloween is coming up Samhain is happening. Um, spirits are coming through and <clears throat> I'm feeling the energy and it's 
this is the first time ever that it's become overwhelming for me and, and overpowering for me. And I haven't been grounding myself. And so I have my hematite and I have my crystal and I'm keeping them close to me and I'm starting to ground. I've got my incense going. I'm going to smudge my house uh, and I'm starting to prepare for what's happening. It just totally blew me, blew my mind. I was just like, oh, duh. You know, this is why I'm not feeling so good, right? Like I'm just lethargic and I'm, you know, I feel dizzy and I'm, um, my heart's palpitating and, you know, just I'm tired and just like all these things and my bones, everything's aching. Um, and it just dawned on me. I have this overwhelming sense of spirit. So I need to ground big time. I don't know why this year is affecting me so badly, but now I know what it is. So just, if, you, if you're a believer, if you're not, I'm cool with that. You know, I don't judge. Um, but this is my belief and this is, you know, this is how I process. Okay. So I started feeling this before I, I was with Seta, right? And I was going like, why am I not feeling quite right? And then after I had my visit with Seta, everything went downhill. And I just, I, all of a sudden I was just like, Bleh, you know, and, and then I realized that, um, it, there's a possibility like Seta's anxiety was really high about her trip and everything. So I'm wondering if maybe I started pulling some of that out of her um, and trying to, you know, calm her down and um, not knowing I was doing it. And so that could have been the start of it and I didn't ground. So, um, yeah. So now I'm getting all of this stuff happening. And I mean, Z, I know Z will understand what I'm talking about because she did a video uh, not too long ago, uh, long ago where she had her camera at work, <clears throat> excuse me, and she went down into the basement and you could see all, you could see the spirits flying around. And it just, it, it just absolutely made me shudder because I was just like, oh, you know, like, it totally makes sense now. Totally makes sense. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my story. And I'm sorry if you guys are put off by that. Um, but we all have our beliefs, right? We all have our thing. And uh, and also, I'm, I'm picking, I'm probably picking up on a lot of stuff that's going out on YouTube as well. So, I, I bring, I put on a lot of that myself, on myself, I guess not meaning to, um, but I am a, a serious empath. I feel so much, as you guys know, because I cry at the drop of a hat, right? So that's, that's me. I need to ground big time. I need to sit with spirit and I need to just chill and uh, whatever. <laughs> so um, I want to say thank you to all of you for all of your well wishes and I'm getting an outpouring of love from you guys and and get wells and all that and uh, I just want you guys to know I'm okay. I'm okay. Now that I know what's going on, I'm okay. Uh, so thank you so much. So I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers as usual. Thank you for joining me. I hope you stay with me after all of that. You know. <laughs> Uh, and, um, yeah, I have no idea how many subscribers I have now. Uh, I haven't looked, so I can't tell you. <laughs> Sorry. You guys can check it out anyway. Um, so I'm still trying to get up to a thousand, a thousand subscribers so I can start doing the giveaway. Yay! Yay. We love a good giveaway, don't we? 
So on that note, I am going to go and I'm going to pick one of my past videos. I don't know which one yet. And I'm going to do a surprise giveaway. I'm probably going to film that later on today. Uh, so I didn't tell you guys I was going to do that, did I? Because it's a surprise! <laughs> So, because I haven't done a giveaway in so long, I'm starting to feel like, I don't know, I, I'm feeling like I should be doing a giveaway. Okay, so I'm going to go and choose one, and I will get back to you later on today, and tell you who the winner is going to be. And I will tell you what the giveaway is, okay? So, check me out in the next video, because it could be you. <laughs> okay, I love you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for joining me, and we will talk to you later. Bye!